in September 2020, we sold our house in the UK, then moved to Normandy in France, where we bought an ancient French farmhouse with various outbuildings, including an old barn, a small cottage with two woodlands, and three and a half acres of pastured land in a beautiful national park area. Follow us on our journey as Budo and I renovate the farmhouse, manage our land and take on many projects for you to enjoy. Let the fun begin. Hi folks, welcome to Caravan Corner. I'm going to say bonsoir because it's evening time it's to evening everyone. evening for us. It's dark, we'll just show you that out there. Woohoo! Nights are drawing in too quick. Um, so, had a busy week this week. Uh, we made a short video in the beginning of the yeah. week. Um, and that was me putting in that, uh, putting together and putting in the uh, spandrel above the staircase for a, a, a story solution, if you like. Yeah. Um, and also this week, I managed to fit the last window at the back. Uh, well, I say the last way. window, but it's the last window I've made yeah. at the back uh, of the property. So we've got that. I've got that in now done and dusted and I um, get a lesson in concreting yes. um, you mixed it all for me didn't you but yeah. you've told me what the mix is so for future my the roles might change mm. so we had to um, I had to dig out about six inches of mud more than that nearly eight. Oh, was it eight nearly I thought it was eight. about six so about eight inches of mud it doesn't look a lot but there was what six barrel loads of mud what? I pulled out and Plus about all the stones yeah it? about four barrel loads of stone stones, yeah. so we laid a plastic down um, and then you mix the concrete and I got a lesson which you're going to see in this week's video. Well, you, don't, you got a lesson, you, you did it. Yeah, I it was actually I showed quite her how easy. To concrete. concrete is very simple. Yeah. It's just hard work on your arms if you're not used to it. Um, and it's about tampering. tamping it down, getting the levels yeah. and making sure that your level is lining up with the level of your floor, finished floor. So yeah. that's what Tracy's done and it's come out well. Yeah, and, the, and the reasons we had to do that is it's under the staircase and um, the we have to secure all the staircase. You'll see in there how bad yeah. the staircase and condition <laughs> it's in. So I'm going to have to build a nice little stud wall under there to support it all, put in some four stringers uh, where they've not put stringers in yeah. and you'll see the reasons why. Because um, it was all sitting on mud, wasn't it? And then so. you did uh, you did some cooking. Yes, I've done some cooking in this, this week's video. video. Tonight. Yep. Normandy pork. Well, it's my take on Normandy um, pork, but obviously if you do it the French way, it's... A little bit different. Yeah, yeah. a little bit different. So, you know... It, it all depends what you want to do. Also, we've been doing a little bit of clearing up outside, haven't we? Tidying yeah, things up. Yeah, a bit of up, and just pulling out a few bits filmed. out, which we didn't film. But um, we've... Tracy, so in this video you're going to have a, uh, us doing the putting me finishing off the window. Mm -hmm. There's also going to be uh, Tracy's doing a bit of concrete in for a first time, yeah. and Tracy's cook video. And you'll, I'm sure you'll enjoy that because it's a lovely, tasty meal. Give it a go, mm, like you have been, tasty. and let us know how you get on with it. Yep. And if you want to, you know, if you wanted to do something different, because I'm like Just that. Just add to it. Yeah, <laughs> I it. always change but, things. What we're going to talk about is uh, uh, you got we got a new patron. I want to just yes. like to introduce uh, just and welcome the new patron, uh, uh, Arnold and Arnold and Mari Heridia. Heridia. Welcome thank you. to French Farmhouse Diaries, and also we'd like to say a big thank you to our existing Steam patrons. Patreons. Definitely, hundred percent. And also um, for next Friday's video, we're going to do a Q and A. But it's going to be in Caravan Corner because unfortunately we can't do a live Q and A because of our internet yeah. connection. We have got no internet hardly connection, no, we so just we can't do a live do one for you. No. So if you can fire over your questions and we things you'd like to know about our us, what we're doing, how we came here, whatever, what we did before yeah. or whatever, then we will try and answer as many as we can without obviously making Caravan Corner a two very, hour video, two hour <laughs> video, because it's quite long yeah. anyway. So, okay, fire the questions over. Yeah, it'd be nice, nice to get some of your questions, just put them on the uh, comments, yeah, and then we'll take them down. We've got one or two already, yeah, uh, and we put, put them, them in, in the, in the uh, book anyway. But um, if you could do that, and then we could probably pick. You know, if some if some of them are very similar, we'll just pick one of the one or two or three, whatever they are, if they're similar, and we'll we'll give you an, an answer to that. Yeah. Anyway, guys, we're going to go because it's getting late here, yep. 
and uh, we're getting tired now. Yep, and, time uh, for bed. Have a cup of tea and then belly buys. Belly buys, belly buys yeah. Bon wee and bon weekend, and we will see you all next week. Hope you enjoyed this week's video. Bye bye. And one more thing, let me just quickly butt in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share as it helps our channel yeah. immensely. And if you would like to join support us, support us, yep, in yeah, our channel support and the us. patrons. We've got a patrons page. Yeah. Um, but uh, the the likes as well are important. You know, yep, putting definitely. up the likes and the uh, views. And, and and you know, if you're uh, coming on board and joining mm -hmm. us as well, it's all good. It yeah. helps our channel. Uh, as you can see, our channel is moving a little yes, bit slow, it is. Yeah, but, but it's moving forwards, which is positive. Yeah, so it's going the right way, so that's right all way. positive. Okay, okay, guys. Au revoir. No, no. <laughs>
it's nicer on the outside it don't matter what it looks like on the inside because um it was just random stones but i've done it on the outside so it's right for the window because we've raised the window up and we've eliminated that horrible problem you have with that french window that would have been here was when you open it, it opens up onto the staircase so as you open it out it would open onto the staircase which was dangerous and the fact that it was very low so if they were both open and a child was running here they'd easy step onto here and go straight out that window if they wanted i've eliminated that so safety features as well practicality ease of use good security brilliant windows all around there so you can see a, a daylight through the back back ends okay so i'm going to go out today and uh, do all the filling work for that sealing them up and then i'll seal them off at the front with nice architraves like i did on the other ones and that's going to look terrific okay folks so we're uh, getting a sweat up now doing some concrete in tracy's uh just having her first go at concrete laying under the stairs so I'm just teaching her how to uh, compact it up, push it in and obviously uh, get some levels, find some levels and trying to get it consolidated in there. Um, I'll go in there in a minute and show you. Just over here with the mixer, I've done about half a tonne or just over already mixed up. Uh, so she's on her way just laying the uh, things in, the wasps everywhere. We'll just go to uh, Tracy, see what she's doing. I'm in the cupboard. You're in the cupboard. I've been naughty. Yeah. I've just, um, well, you're mixing the concrete, so it's the first time ever I've done this. So yeah. I've just got my level. You've here. got to learn something uh, sometime, haven't you? Yeah. So. Bubbles in the middle, so we're right. Okay so she's got there. a, from this level, from the floor here, across the level, she's got, she's realised the bubble has to be in the middle, obviously, <laughs> to that corner. And then yeah. she'll work back from that corner to that corner around there and back this way. Yeah. And uh, we're laying it on a plastic membrane Ooh. and a little bit of insulation underneath. Yeah. Uh, so it's a. Uh, and this is to secure. Yeah. Well, so you can put. Is it posts you're going to put yeah. up to secure the. I'm going to build a stud wall staircase. at the back because when they, uh, when they built this staircase back in the day, a long, long, long time ago, they didn't build stringers. I'll tell you what they are quickly for those who don't know. Stringers are the ones that go up the side. The staircase in the in, in england we always build our kites which we call these that go into the stringer and that stringer is fixed to the wall but they do uh, like metal pegs if i can try and show you down there i don't know if you can see that but there's metal pegs in there against the wall all right so what i'm going to do is, is build a wall underneath all the way around the staircase and then put in four stringers um to finish and that'll give us some strength i'm just going to show you quickly upstairs so you can see where we've got a bad staircase here, look. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit dangerous, but we ain't gone through yet, so we're alright. But anyway, look. Just once again show you the window I done yesterday. So I'm gonna finish that off, put all the trim around it and build the panel in. But I want to get this concrete done first and the staircase secure. So going back down the staircase. Got the uh, little doggy inspector. And make sure the job's all running perfect, don't you, Chase? Hey? No you wouldn't believe the amount of mud that came out of here eight yeah. barrow loads because I went down six inches and yeah. there was about four barrow loads of little stones. Wow, so you wouldn't think that, would you? But really? you have to do it, you know, have yeah. to, it has to be done. But once we get that in there, that'll be strong. There'll be no more earth on, on the floor and no, in this room, more anyway. secure, isn't it? For the um, anyway, folks, we'll let you see it when it's finished. Yeah. Okay, folks, so as promised, show you the uh, concreting for the base that Tracy done. Goes all the way round and inside, round and back into the stair. Uh, I won't go next, it's too dark for the uh, camera. But um, that was her first ever trial of uh, doing floating off and levelling concrete. And I think she's done a very good job. And uh, she kept the membrane up on against the wall as well and tucked the uh, concrete in. So we'll cut that when it's all dry, we'll cut that off and then render that wall properly. Um, but finished job, she done really well. It's not easy work, especially on the arms, uh, especially for uh, you know people like who haven't done that sort of thing before. Um, 
but uh, she's done a good job and I probably there's a good over half a ton well over half a ton of concrete in there anyway good afternoon everyone welcome back to caravan cooking back in the caravan again well I cook in the caravan every day but today I'm doing one of our another one of our family favorites which is Normandy pork with apples with apples yeah not so if I just talk through the ingredients with you this meal I'm doing is for two people but if you want to do it for four people all you have to do is double, double the ingredients yeah. so here we've got 500 grams of lean pork so you can use loin chops as long as the meat's quite lean and just cut that into small bite sizes here we have one carrot if Budo zooms in, mm -hmm. sliced, one leek, sliced, sort of semi-thick, one parsnip, sliced, and three shallots. You can use onions, but I like to use shallots. More flavour some of them. Yeah, they're yeah. sweeter. Two bay leaves, which we dried ourselves. These are the ones we had in England. Two apples which all you'll do is core the center out. You can leave the skins on or take the skins off. It's your personal preference. Some people don't like the skins and they'll be added later on um, with the recipe. And all I'm gonna do is cut them in half, um, then in quarters so they become little wedges. Mm -hmm. And also we have here, can you see that? 200 grams of creme fraiche. Um, I couldn't use Dijon mustard because I couldn't get that from the supermarket so I've used another French mustard um, and also uh, a tablespoon of corn flour and all you do is combine it together it's actually got a texture like cream isn't it? yeah like cream or, or like yogurt and the pierre de resistance yes yeah, pierre de resistance <laughs> is the cider cider and this actually is a local brew Thank you, Amy. She gave us two bottles and it's actually made from apples from their orchard. Yeah. Their neighbours make it and give them and a And they do it in an oak barrel because I drank some a little bit yeah. earlier and, it and it's really lovely. oaky, oaky cider. Really it's lovely. Tasty. Prop so roll Calvadossi near enough. It's very nice. Oh, that's another thing. You can actually use apple brandy Calvados. We've actually tasted it, but we haven't been given any. So yeah. if we do, then I, I will. We'll try it out. We'll it? Yeah. It. Now I've got the gas Just a good on. quality cider. That's what you yes, want, really, basically. Um, I've got the gas on already, and what we're going to do, the pork that I've diced, we're actually going to fry this in little batches because all we want to do is brown brown the pork. Okay. You can see that, Budo? Yeah, see that. Yeah, just so it's. So, what did you put in the pan? Just a bit of butter, oh, was it? No, I oil. put, sorry, um, two tablespoons of oil. Yeah. Because the pork will suck up the oil. Yeah, yeah. It sounds a lot, but it, it's actually no, fine. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is just carry on frying this. Once it's all cooked, I'm going to put the pork into the dish. Yep. Don't have to drain it or anything, and I'll see you back in a minute. Okay. Okay, as you can see. Welcome back, by the way. Welcome back, <laughs> yes, so, so welcome back. All the pork's now just slightly browned. And if you come over here, Budo, I've added the carrots, leeks, and the parsnips to the casserole pot. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to add the pork. Okay, and just combine this. Mix it all in and leave that for a minute. I've put the shallots in the frying pan with the oil that's come from the fat from the pork. I'm just going to cook these, excuse me, <coughs> until they're slightly soft. Oh, I, do you know it's one Shallots thing I love smell so lovely when they're cooking. It's shallots and garlic. Garlic and shallots, just yes. beautiful smell. Valerie's got some smoked garlic for us, so yeah. we've had that. We did that, didn't yeah. we? I'm sure we did in England. Valerie is our neighbour next door, French yeah. neighbours. But do you know what's ironic? We've had this, well, Normandy pork for donkey's years, haven't yep, we? Yeah, in Back England. Back in England. And now we're living in. France, Normandy. Now, Normandy, and we're eating Normandy pork. This yeah. is just a fluke, isn't no. it, really? But 
the thing is, is it is a beautiful meal and, and I, I highly recommend have a go at this one um, it's a little bit more long-winded than the last ones Tracy was doing but it is so flavoursome and you eat it with like either wedges you can have potato wedges you can have a creamy mashed mash, potato creamy mashed potatoes nice yeah. puree yeah like a puree with a bit of parsley you can also we're going to have runner beans today because yep. for me parsnips when they're quite soft are like a potato texture aren't yeah. they so you've got your so the runner beans there. are going to be done in a way yeah i'm going to just parboil the runner beans for about eight minutes we like them quite crunchy but we're just going to have them with butter and black salt and black pepper but normally like i said before i put crushed garlic mm. we'll put a knob of drain the runner beans knob of butter in a frying pan put the runner beans in with um some garlic you can use dried garlic yeah. it doesn't matter and parmesan cheese it yeah, is just lovely. so easy right, parmesan, okay. gee, parmesan cheese and garlic parmigiano reggiano yeah you said it actually, that's <laughs> a time this is italiano, hey? italiano. <laughs> right, okay so now i'm gonna add Oh, that's hot. Oh, hanging on my... Ow! <laughs> Ouchie! Right, I'm going to add that to the casserole. Let's put that down. Mix it all in. I've got the gas so I just... You want that up quite high. Because you want to bring it to a boil. Okay, and now... Just say oh, that. Proper scrumpy this is, boy. Thing is, that is proper Normandy cider. Very like the West Country in uh, in the UK cider. Yeah. Similar, aren't they? And, it, and that's in oak as well, isn't it? So, yeah, which makes it even nicer. It. Yeah. You can actually smell it. Which is lovely. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to bring that to a boil. Once it comes to the boil, then I'm going to turn it right down low on a simmer, and then I'm going to let it cook for about an hour. Right okay or until the pork is tender so join me back because that's when we'll be adding and these, uh... add the apples which will be cut into wedges and the lovely sauce yep lovely okay i'll see you soon then. Okay, okay. bye welcome back part three do you want to come over budo the pork mm -hmm. is um oh it smells delish the juice is actually reduced now so it smells yummy the bay leaves are there so I've cored and sliced, well, into small sizes. I've only used one apple because they were quite large, so we don't need to. But as I said earlier, if you're going to double the ingredients to make it for four, then I would use two large apples. Or four, four small apples. Yeah, or four yeah. small, but normally you can get two large apples. And also, with the creme fraiche, that's 200 grams one tablespoon of corn flour and one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. I've had to use a different mustard, but this is doubled already. So, because we like that zing of mustard and yeah, creaminess as well. And also with the cider, I would use about 750 mils if you're gonna double yeah. four four. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, add the... let's just add the apples. I'm just gonna combine that all together. And you can take the skins off or leave the skins on, but I like the skins No, on. we like them on, don't we? They're nice. Okay, and then we'll just add everything in. Can you see? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lick the bowl. <laughs> I actually love cream fruit. Okay, just going to combine that all together. You don't have a lot of liquid when you make this dinner, but everything does cook, all the vegetables. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to put the lid back on, okay, and I'm going to let that cook for another eight minutes, just till the apples. Are eight minutes. Eight minutes. Yep. The apples are slightly soft, or I like them crunchy. We like them crunchy. Crunchy, yeah. And then I'll see you back for part four. Yep. See you in a bit. Welcome back. Here's my take on Normandy pork with fresh. French beans, a little bit of butter, and black pepper. Mm. Smells magnificent. And don't forget to take the bay leaves out. Show us the bay leaves, Trey. Oh, hang on. 
It's gone over the cook. Oh. So <laughs> don't forget to take them out. Okay. <laughs> I don't uh, think you'd miss them if they were left in. But right, are we ready to chomp through this now because I've starved? Bon appétit. What are we going to have to drink with this? Are you ready? We have a bit of cider. A bit of what? But a bit of cider. A bit of cider, but right. But it will be Normandy cider. I think they call it in French, cidre. cidre. Fruits de cidre. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I'm looking forward to that. It was nice, that. Well done, Trace. Thank you for uh, showing us how you cook Normandy pork. Merci beaucoup.